Well, hello. Today I thought we'd make a beautiful candle. I love making candles just as much as making soap. And actually, candles are my first love. It's the thing I really, really started with many, many years ago. So the first thing I'm going to do is literally just to cover and protect my work area. But this is just some cling film saran wrap. Works absolutely brilliantly. I've got two plain candle jars. These are a 30 centiliter jar, but you can do the same effect with absolutely anything. And today I'm gonna to be using an all seasons wax. This is their S100 wax. And we're gonna be using these gorgeous wooden wicks. Now the first thing we need to do is to weigh some of this wax. I'm going to need 400 grams. And this S100 is a pure soy. It doesn't have any of the additives or things in it. It's just a lovely, natural, creamy colour. And we're going to melt this using a double boiler. So I'm just going to pop this pan into a pan of boiling water until it's all melted down. And next I'm going to add my fragrance oil. This is a proper candle fragrance oil, but many of your cosmetic fragrances do work as well. And I actually need the whole bottle for these two candles. I want a great scent. This particular one is called Ice Pixie, but you can do whatever fragrance that you want in yours. There honestly is something so relaxing about just taking a couple of moments and really stirring the fragrance in. It just looks so beautiful. It always reminds me of water. And you've got the dappled light on the surface of something like a lake or a swimming pool. Absolutely love it. And then we're literally going to just pour this into our two glasses. So we just need that wax to solidify a little bit and start setting on the base. Now you can see at the bottom, it's starting to go milky and cloudy. And that is exactly what we want. And we want it like that for two things. We're going to set our wick when it's like that, but we're also going to do our beautiful color effect when it's starting to thicken like this. So I'm going to be using some candle dyes. I've got two colours, I've got a purple and a teal, and I'm just going to use a little cotton bud for the design. Now these candle dyes are super, super strong, so I really would urge you to be really careful when you're doing this. I'm going to add just a couple of drops onto the cotton bud. And now what I'm going to do is pop this cotton bud in and I'm just going to wipe it up against the wall of the candle jar. Let's give it a go. In, and then I'm just going to literally start moving it around and creating and drawing a pattern all the way around that side. I hope you can see that. And you can go over areas. Let's add some more. There we go. We'll go back over and just create that colour a little bit more in more areas. And then I'm going to take the second colour and go through some of those same areas just to create a difference in colour and a little bit of interest. But you can absolutely just do this in one colour if you prefer. So I'm going in with the second colour and I'm just going to kind of go through, add a little bit of a secondary colour in there. Just dance it up and down a little bit, create some interest. And then we'll do the second one exactly the same. You can completely change the colour that you're doing. I'm going to move this one around a little bit more and get some more movement in this one. There we go. We'll do more of that beautiful teal. You won't see as much of the colour as it starts to set up because the wax is a creamy white, 
So a lot of that colour just kind of disappears. So you probably need more than you think if you want a more defined pattern. And it is important to keep it quite close up to the sides. Well, I think I'm happy with the amount that I've got in there. Let's pop our wick in. So our wick assembly is ready and we've got that nice milky film at the bottom. So I can just position my wick now and push it down firmly. Make sure it's centered in the candle and then the same with the second one. Really push it down, make sure it's nice and tight to the bottom. And we're just gonna allow those to completely set up and then we'll come back and trim the wicks. Once your candles have set, you just need to trim the wicks. I'm using wick trimmers. And your candles are done. Don't they look absolutely glorious? Is this something that you're going to try out yourself? I'd love to know. Or maybe you've already tried something similar to this. If you have, let me know how yours turned out and what colours did you choose? Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I can't wait to see you in another video with me really, really soon. Bye bye for now.